Hey everyone, what up? My Kaiser here, and welcome to this multi-part simultaneous collab that Colin Lack has actually come up with. That I may have, you know, brought up in the idea when I was in his comments of his last video. And at the time of this video has been uploaded, both me, Colin Lack, and the goat onion head dude himself that speaks within the cozy fireplace, Cyrus Bride, We've also made each a video on what a potential Trails in the Sky remake would look like. Given that the recent rumblings of, well, from Kondo san himself talk about the plans of what to do with the Sky trilogy during the 20th anniversary of the Trail series. So, we thought, why not we best strike when the iron is hot, rather than when the steel is cold. What you did there. On Colin Lack's side, he's covering a case of why the Trails in the Sky remake should be in like more modern 3D graphics, akin to the recent Kai no Kiseki, while Silas Bright covers his case of it being a HD 2D remake, akin to the likes of like say Live Alive remake, Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D remake as well as 1 and 2, and Star Ocean the Second Story R. While in my case, as you can see by this title, it will be sort of like a 3D chibi style faithful remake. But before we begin, if you like what you've seen, hit that by all means. Like the video, click the subscribe button if you're new, and hit the bell notification icon if you want more RPG content from your story. Not only that, but I'm also in the middle of playing Persona 5 Royal, and hopefully before this year ends, I'll be able to deliver my long awaited 750 subscriber special of Persona 5 Royal. So please do look forward to that. And with that, Let's get on with this case-by-case -case analysis. Now obviously when it comes to graphics, let's talk about the original game. So the Sky Trilogy, as well as even the Crossbow Duology, used this rather cute chibi style which was a similar framework that even E6 Ark of the Pistim used, as those games were mainly for the PlayStation Portable. We don't talk about the PS2 version of E6 though. And of course, Windows. Among the fact that even Falcom themselves said that the focus for the Trails games was for, at the time, more so on the story and less on the graphics. Though things obviously slightly changed when we reached the latter end of the Cold Steel tetralogy, and obviously Daybreak and its sequels. Though the story was still the primary focus. But alas, that is the nature of Trails in the Sky when it comes to its visuals. And while some do want a remake of it in say the newer style of graphics that the later games have used, a la say Daybreaks and Kai's current engine, while others still actually have a fondness of the original chibi style and its overall charm, and would even prefer it to have sort of a bit of, cool, a bit of a graphical update, but still maintain that familiar chibi style that the original had. Now that brings up on why 3D Chibi would actually be a good choice for a remake of this game, as in a way it would actually be a good balance of keeping the same charm that the original had, and be so familiar, but still be updated to you know be at least a little bit more fresher and newer. Two primary good examples would have to be the Super Mario RPG remake and the Italian Marie remake, both of which I've actually reviewed upon. The form of which, while traded its sort of classic claymation style of the original Super Famicom version in for more modern graphics of the current Mario games. But even still, style-wise, the characters still remain faithful enough and even up to date, without any changes to their overall stylized body proportions that Mario RPG gave them in, with Mario himself still looking cute and adorable. And the same can be said for the Taylor Marie remake. Instead of Marie and the cast having you know, been remade in Rise's engine and graphics with full 3D body proportions to the modern Atelier games, 
they still decided to have it like sort of chippy and be respectful to the original game's art style, while still having no full 2D portraits of the characters. And honestly, it's such a nice compromise. There's also of course the Legend of Zelda's Link Link's Awakening remake for the Nintendo Switch which also looks pretty nice, to the point that we even now got the original game in that same style, but this time FINALLY Finally play as Zelda. Heck, when you think about it, even Falcom themselves has sort of made like you know, low key 3D chibi remakes of some of the East games, like East Open Falgana be here, being a remake of East 3, Wanderers of East, using the framework of East 6, being the prime example, and even then it sort of counts as using the framework of a new game from a remake, but still an old one. But, well, still, that's the exception rather than the rule, folks. In any case, no, no, he's got a point. With that said, it would generally be, it would be just very cool for Falcom to, you know, make a very stylized 3D chibi remake for Trails in the Sky. Now we touched up on why it could work, but what about when it can't work? As not all 3D chibi remakes are all winners like say the infamous Secret of Mana remake or even the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, with the former showing a rather poor attempt of remaking a 2D SNES game with some really ugly looking 3D models that honestly just looks like a mobile game and just you know, calling it the day, and there's a reason why the Charles of Mana remake went for a more different approach. Another is that to a point, that trail cinematics, especially the action scenes and emotional scenes, have generally found now a brand new peak within Daybreak and Kai to an extent, and it may be so hard to recapture those, especially with 3D chibi graphics. And lastly, obviously, given that, you know, the possible return of Kevin, Thank God, finally, as well as other Sky characters being rendered in full 3D from you know the Cold Steel 3 games to obviously Daybreak with obviously you know the Lobel Gang, Agate, Tita, as well as Zen and Walter. It would be definitely easy for Falcom to just you know reuse those assets, and unless by the time they make this remake, it's possibly that the series would be over that they will either have, you know, a brand new, even more powerful graphics engine, or even use something third party like Unreal, just like on how Atlas, Bandai Namco, and Square Enix would use it. But even without any of that, it will definitely just be easy for them just to reuse those similar assets, and even touch them up. And I know full well that thanks to the new fans, that fans would argue that, well, Seeing the Sky Trilogy being remade in full 3D graphics will be appealing and helps see LeBeau in a new light, and it will be an interesting way and also good for newcomers, as some of them do like to play the more prettier and shinier game in fact, in the case of, you know, Trails for Daybreak, Tales of Arise, and a Tales of Ariser, for example. Heck, there's even a strong argument in having it in the HD 2D pixel games akin to the Octopath Traveler series. Star Ocean Second Story R, the D Dragon Quest Erdic Trilogy, as well as also the Live Alive remake, as those games generally look appealing, and generally have you know provided a profit for Square Enix, and there's also a lot of demand of those classic games to be remade in the style. <coughs> Zero Gears. And we can see that both Team Asano and also Gem Drops have been able to you know evolve that style by having you no know, more improved lighting or just very impressive 3D environments. So there are a lot of points of why that whole chibi style thing might not work at all. However, with all saying that, they don't have to sacrifice some cool graphical stuff like awesome action scenes for these rather 3D chibi models. As even the older games did still have cool and emotional scenes, despite the graphics not being up to snuff. I mean hell, this one fight scene with Loei and Agate from Sky SC is way more impressive than the uh, 
Laura versus Fee fight in Cold Steel One, and that by default was meant to be a step up graphically. <laughs> Heck, this one fight in f***ing Gurman, Gurman, looks way more cooler than that scene. Tell me when I'm telling lies! And that concludes my case. Overall, with a general likelihood that the potential Chosen Sky remake will be coming sometime soon, we can generally wonder what graphical style it would be, and I hope this video will give you a perspective of what that style could or should potentially be like. But that's it for me, so I'll direct you now to Collins and Cyrus' videos to share their own points and what they think a Trails in the Sky remake would look like. Check them out and subscribe to their YouTube channels. And that's all I got to say about that! <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my discussion and let me know down in the comments of what you think a Chosen Sky remake should look like. Until then, Mad Kaiser out.